Oh, there, okay, there's a picture of me. And this is the um, Park Lawn Elementary School field in Fairfax County on, off of Columbia Pike on the way to Annandale from Bailey's Crossroads. On Tuesday, March the 5th, we held the Virginia primary, the presidential primaries for both the Democratic and Republican parties. And I worked the 16 hour election day as an election officer. We came in on Monday. I came in around 5.15 in the afternoon. We didn't actually start setting up until 6. We set up outdoor signs and some of the booths, the cardboard booths and tables. And um, we got out around 7. Had to get to bed about 9. Then on Tuesday, I had to get up at a little after 3 in the morning. Chips and cold food come in. Leave around 4.15 to make sure I got them here on time. Got here at the time. The day was from 5 to start at 5 in the morning. The polls opened at 6 and the duty stations were mainly the, the poll paths where you checked in voters with barcodes usually on the driver's licenses or other IDs or you had to look them up. But usually you could check somebody in in about 20 seconds. And they had to tell you which primary they were voting. In Virginia you vote in a, one primary or the other because you don't have to register party when you vote. So I think a lot of people who might have been Democrats or might have normally been liberal picked up the presidential, the Republican card in order to cast a vote that Trump, Trump should not be a president and he was not fit to be president because of his behavior during the January 6th, and, which I agree. I, that's how I voted. I voted early and voted for Trump. Uh, I, I meant he voted for Nikki Haley, did not vote for Trump. I voted for Nikki Haley. I misspoke there at a senior moment. I voted for Nikki Haley to send a message personally that Trump was not fit. And even though Nikki Haley has dropped out. But anyway, that was the day. The, the other stations were to stand near the DS-200A, which is the voting machine that collects the ballots. You can feed them in either side. And it's paper ballots. runs on a, a Unix operating system. You have to boot it up and then you have to get get reports and you have to get a closing report and you have to package everything, take it back, to, um, send it back to Fairfax County Government Center. I was a collection officer, which meant I and another person left around 7.30 p.m. and we drove um, the absentee ballot, that's there was only one, um, and then the thumb drive of the DS-200A to report the results and then came back. So it was about a 16 hour day. Now what I would suggest is that for the general election, because the, the turnout was light, it got a little heavier during the day, but what I would suggest is that for the general election in November, and there's, there's also another primary for the other non-presidential, because this is the presidential primary, there's one for the non, the oh, everything else on June 18. But what I would suggest is on November 5th, of, I think that's the date, 2024, they'd be able to offer split shifts and have hire people to do work more than one day and do some other things and split the work up. Because it's going to be harder, it's going to take longer to close, it's going to really be very grueling and very critical on, no, on election day. And I can say I think everything is very secure, I will say that. So I just wanted to do a little report here of what it was like to work as an election officer. I hope you can see me in the picture. That's me in the picture. I hope that turns out. And I do thank you for listening.